Dear students, welcome to our class on Climate Change United Nations Environmental Program UNEP United Nations Environment Program Impacts of Climate Change How can we adapt? Impacts of Climate Change How can we adapt? Excerpts from a simplified guide to the IPCC is a simplified guide to the IPCC Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Okay, Climate Change 2007 Impacts, Adaptation and Vulnerability. Impacts, Adaptation and Vulnerability. Now, it is given in three headings the present day. Statement 1, key statement 1 is on present day, few statements on future, few statements on actions. Now all together, there are 14 key statements. Now, the present day, only one key statement is given, climate is changing now. Climate is changing now. This is one. Key statement 1, in elaborate form, present day, Climate change is affecting our physical and natural environment. Physical and natural environments are affected by climate change. This is the key statement one of UNEP simplified guide. This is the simplified guide. Now, I would like to enlighten you on certain facts that were mentioned in the key statement one. Before that, uh, Key statement one, there are uh, some broad statements uh, of uh, present day. Again, I would like to impress upon you that on present day, only one key statement is there. Next, few statements on future and few statements on adaptation or actions. Now, only one statement is there on present day. What is the present day? Present day is climate is changing now. That's it. The key statement I have read twice. Now, see, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, working group one, fourth assessment, okay, concluded that warming of the climate system due to greenhouse gas emissions is unequivocal. Global average annual temperatures increased by 0.76 degrees centigrade between 1850 and 1899 and 2001 to 2005. The warmest year was 1998, 1998 with a temperature of 0.55 degrees centigrade above 1961 to 1990 mean. 12 of the 13 warmest years have occurred in the period, during the period 1995 to 2007. 12 of the warmest years have occurred between 1995 to 2007. The changes in our climate caused by increased concentration of greenhouse gases are not restricted to just temperature. Because there is more energy in the system, there is the potential for all aspects of our climate to change. The IPCC fourth assessment concluded that broadly, IPCC's fourth assessment broadly concluded on three aspects. Number one, temperature. Number two, drought. Number three, on okay, tropical cyclones. Before that, I would like to impress upon you that, see, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is the Nobel Peace Prize Laureate 2007. Nobel Peace Prize Laureate is 2007 for these works. Now, see what are the IPCC four testament conclusions. Number one, heavy precipitation events have become more frequent over most areas during the 12th century, 20th century. Heavy precipitation events have become more frequent over the most areas during the 20th century. The area affected by drought has increased in many regions since 1970. 1970 intense tropical cyclones activity has increased in some regions since 
1970. Now, key statement one. I would like to impress upon you once again that key statement one is the present day climate change is uh, affecting our physical and natural environment. Only key points I would like to stress in the key statement one. Now, physical and natural systems around the world are being affected by regional climate changes, particularly temperature increases. These temperature increases are very likely to be the result of anthropogenic emissions of greenhouse gas emissions. Now, most evident are reductions in snow, ice and frozen ground which in turn are leading to enlargement and increased numbers of glacial lakes and increased ground instability in permafrost and mountainous regions. Although the greatest reduction in the ice extent has occurred in Arctic, some of the most obvious changes have been in tropical mountain environments. This is the first excerpt. The second excerpt of the key statement one is there is extensive evidence that recent warming is strongly affecting terrestrial biological system including such changes as earlier timing of spring events for example leaf unfolding bird migration migration and agglaying of course and shifts in the ranges of plant and animal species in the oceans and mainly at the high latitudes uh, we can currently observe shifts in ranges and abundances of algae planktons and fish Probably the most important effect of increased greenhouse gas emissions in the oceans is which have become increasingly acidic. The oceans have become increasingly acidic as the sea water absorbs carbon dioxide forming the carbonic acid. So far we have recorded an average pH reduction of 0.1. Interestingly acidity is expected to have major effect on shell forming organisms even though the research on this is at to confirm this particular statement. The final excerpt of the key statement one of uh, uh, climate change 2000 impact adaptation vulnerability is uh, it is much less easy to discern the effects of present day climate change on uh, human welfare and uh, activities mainly because of our capacity, capacity to adopt acts uh, to mask these effects. Areas where we can discern include increases in forest fires in northern high latitudes, earlier spring planting of crops and increased human mortality during the heat waves. Very interesting statement. I am not saying that uh, these are the statements of IPCC, Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change, which is the Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Okay, of 2007, Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Now, another important point I would like to say, final statement is, uh, it is estimated that the heat wave of August 2003 in Western Europe resulted in 35,000 deaths. Uh, this was the hottest summer on record. And analysis suggests that uh, human influence has at least doubled the risk of a heat wave of this magnitude or greater, which is a very, very unpalatable even to imagine, which is very, very difficult to digest till it had happened. This is what the key statement one says as far as the IPCC's report is concerned. Thanking you very much.